Hi, welcome back. I'm Jenny. Today I want to talk about um, preparing for fall and winter. So by that I mean cold and flu season and possibly hard times ahead with a rough winter um, predicted this, this coming season. So um, what I have done is ordered a bunch of vitamins and I uh, went and picked up all the medicines that we like to use and have on hand in preparation for the coming cold and flu season. And also with um, the res resurgence of COVID-19 and schools closing and uncertainty around all of that right now, I wanted to make sure that we had what we needed to keep our bodies nice and healthy, our immune system strong and ready um, to be able to be out and about and not have to worry about those types of things. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've picked up for my family and and let you know a little bit about why. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm a big fan of Mary Ruth's vitamins. I like to order everything I need at once um, and just avoid multiple um, shipping charges. So I will start with the one I get for myself now is this um, liquid morning multivitamin in the raspberry flavor. This is the only one that I can, I like the taste of. It's not too bad. I've tried a couple other ones and the, the flavor was just not for me. So I got this big size. It should last me a couple months here. And I do take a few other things as well. So this is one of my favorites to have on hand for myself. And for my children, I, since I have three children now, they're um, three, five, and eight, I like to get a few different bottles of each one. So I grabbed, I think these are the same, two bottles of the two-month supply of the vitamin C, uh, toddler vitamin C gummies. So these are good ones to have. Oops, sorry, these are multivitamins. <laughs> the multivitamins, I grabbed two bottles of these. So these are great ones to use. They do go fast, so I like to get the two-month supply and two or three bottles of those for my kiddos. I also picked up another bottle of the vitamin C gummies. These ones, I also like to look at how many they're supposed to take each day. Um, some of them say, suggest two a day, and that's gonna add up, and they're gonna go a lot faster. So both of these are one a day, so that's important to me. So serving size, one a day per child, and it comes with 60 gummies. So that's gonna last a little while. I have another one still um, that we've already started using. So um, the next one I really like is this vitamin D3 and K2 um, spray. This is a nice one. I can usually get them to take a few sprays of this every day, and then they get their gummy uh, right after. That's kind of an olive, -y, olive oil taste, I think. So. They're, they don't love it, but they know that after they take this one, they're gonna get their gummies, so they usually have no problem taking it. I also have a, a probiotic from them. It's a, a liquid probiotic, and I will pour that into um, a drink. Usually I put it in a smoothie, so they'll get some of that too, but they don't like the taste of that one, so I have to dilute that one with something. Um, these were a good deal. Usually uh, you can find these pretty cheap there. This is elderberry. These are the chewer, chewable elderberry tablets. Um, they like these a lot. So they're little purple tablets, good immune support. I am trying to grow my own elderberry. Just didn't get any berries this year. Hopefully next year I'll have elderberries and I can make my own syrup. In the meantime, I did buy also a bottle of the elderberry syrup. So it's pretty small, but for kids, what does this suggest? video stop there. So it's just a little uh, droplet per day. This actually says blueberry raspberry. So I did not know that. They haven't tried this one yet. So hopefully they like this one and they liked the other elderberry, liquid elderberry we've tried in the past. Um, I also got this kids liquid zinc drops. Uh, this is flavored. This is berry flavor. So this one I'm probably going to have to also put in a smoothie uh, or in a juice, orange juice or um, I don't know, out berry juice of some sort so they can't taste it. Um, hopefully they'll like that one. Then, um, so that was it for what I ordered from Mary Ruth. 
that's just what I prefer to do. It's easiest for me to shop from home and order those vitamins online, get them all at once, stock up for the, for the season. That should pretty close get me through most of the season. I might have to pick up a few more things. Um, I do go to the grocery store to see what I can find on sale for, um, for medicines. So I do like to try to go natural with medicines uh, whenever possible. So I do like to pick up the Highlands cold and cough. This works really well. My kids love it. So I pick up these natural remedies, runny nose, sore throat, love these, they're great. Uh, they don't like this one, but it is a cough syrup and immune support. It's Burt's Bees Manuka Honey. It's pretty strong. Um, it's a wonderful thing to have on hand. Uh, I have this. I also have a regular um, local honey. That's really good. They love regular honey. So if they if I can't get them to take a little bit of this, then I'll, I'll go with the regular honey um, and put it in some teas, which I did pick up as well. So... So I grabbed a couple boxes of tea. These were on sale. A lemon ginger, if they have a little tummy ache. And uh, Meyer lemon, my kids love lemon. So they'll drink tea. These are good to have for sore throats. My husband and I love them as well. These are fun. Um, there's a couple different kinds of these. These are sore throat lollipops. These also are a natural um, honey, honey oral. Um, uh, it says demuculant, <laughs> but anyway, it, can, it gives them some relief from a sore throat without having to give them cough drops. So they like these. I've gotten a couple other um, varieties of these and they just love having a lollipop when they have a sore throat. So that's always a fun one. Um, for my husband and I, I picked up a couple of these um, cough drops. They were on sale as well. Very good deal. Warm apple pie, I've never tried and Honey Lemon, always a favorite, we love these. This brand I haven't tried, they were just on sale. They looked like something that would be good to have on hand. They will be used <laughs> regardless. If we have a sore throat, we're gonna take them. Um, this one, actually I believe it was discontinued. Uh, it was like half off. I found a great deal on this just when I was out shopping. This is the Highlands Pain Relief. So, uh, it works really well whenever my kids are just complaining of um, just not feeling good, toothache, my son just lost a tooth, he's just kind of not feeling great. Uh, it works really, really well. I think it's Arnica and a few other things in here, pretty natural. Um, so I like this one, they like this one. I like to have those on hand. I do usually like to have a few um, you know, of the regular things on hand just in case these aren't quite strong enough, but usually between natural remedies, vitamins, and um, just sleep and rest, it seems to work pretty well. My kids get over it pretty fast. So we just wanted to make sure that we have everything we need ahead of this coming, um, possibly hard winter ahead, I've been hearing. so. Um, we live a little out of town. It's about 15 minutes to the nearest store and our roads need to be plowed in order to get out. So we, it's, for us, it's really important that we have what we need on hand. I know that prices are rising as well right now. Um, things, are, things are definitely going up. Things have been low on stock. So it's just really a good time to make sure that you have the things that you need right now, that you're prepared for this coming cold and flu season, this coming winter, and whatever else you may need to be prepared for. Hand sanitizers, um, whether you make your own or buy natural or alcohol-based, it's a good idea to make sure that you have some of that on hand now, because that was one thing that was out of stock, pretty hard to find the last couple winters with, um, with this COVID virus going around, which so, um, we also like to make sure that we have plenty of uh, frozen fruits and vegetables on hand as well um, for smoothies and just um, just to keep just to keep on hand just in case we can't get out and we run out of our canned items that we've gotten from the garden. We didn't have the best growing season this year, so we are going to have to be stocking up from the store. And those are just some good things to keep on hand to keep your immune system healthy and strong as well. So 
I'd love to hear what you guys are doing to stay healthy and to prepare um, this September being National Preparedness Month. It's just a really good time to get prepared and make sure that you have everything you need to get you at least all the way through winter. So um, I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please consider liking and subscribing. Till next time, see ya.